What is up, everybody? Once in a while, we're going to break from our regularly scheduled content to bring you a series we call What in the Fence? If you're a homeowner, home builder, or contractor, stay tuned to this week's subject as we dig into What in the Fence is up with the pine market? Coming right up. This is Joe Evers, the fence expert. My family's been perfecting their way of building fence for over 60 years, three generations. While there's more than one way to build a fence, I'm here to share with you our way. Here in the Midwest, we started hearing rumblings about a treated pine shortage about three weeks ago. Started with some contractors in Oregon, put out a notice that they would pay for truckloads of treated pine to be brought into the market because in Oregon, it simply couldn't be found. Fast forward to last week when I was talking to our lumber broker, he told me a couple things. First, his number one treated pine was entirely gone. Then his number two treated pine, while it lasted, was going up in price. Something like 20 to 25% depending on the product. After hearing these stories in Oregon and then talking to our lumber broker last week, I started calling around to other fence companies and I learned this is pretty much a nationwide issue. Tree pine lumber that used to be stocked to the rafters in every home store in town was gone. Contractors simply can't get number one treated pine and so they're having to sacrifice for number two treated pine. Which leads us to the next step. What does this mean for you? What this boils down to is number one treated pine pickets, two by fours, four by fours, six by sixes are all but non-existent. If you can find them, you better buy them now because all this left is number two treated pine. And if you know anything about lumber, the quality difference between number two and number one is incredible. The number two treated pine that's left, 20 to 25% more expensive. So not only are you getting a lower quality lumber, but you're actually paying considerably more for it. The important thing to remember here is it's not just treated pine. It's not all fences and decks. It's rafters and studs. It's home building and remodeling. We're all in this together. It affects the entire pine market. The question is, how did we get here? As I see it, the shortage has three contributing factors. And the first two have to do with COVID. The first thing to remember, lumber mills are just like any other large business. They employ hundreds of people that are at the same place at the same time. So they were significantly affected by the COVID pandemic. They lost a large percentage of their workforce. Pair that with the fact that orders are actually an all-time high. You see, a lot of families had vacations planned that ultimately got canceled, but the savings account was still in place. So they decided to put that money into home improvement projects. Smart move. The problem is the mill that we buy from produces 50 million board feet a week. It's a ton of lumber. Problem, the POs that they're receiving are in excess of 100 million board feet a week. They can only produce roughly half of what the market is asking them for. And that's only one mill. The final contributing factor, as I see it, is it's hurricane season. I know what you're asking. What's hurricanes have to do with my fence? Well, the fact of the matter is every spring, a large portion of the pine market gets earmarked for hurricane related products. Now, whether it's plywood to prevent damage from hurricanes or all of the tree to pine materials it's gonna to take to rebuild from a hurricane, a lot of that market gets earmarked for hurricane relief efforts. All right, so we've talked about what the shortage means and we've talked about why we're here. So the big question that's on everyone's mind, well, how long does this thing last? When is the shortage over? The best answer is, it's anybody's guess. The first thing that's gonna have to happen is lumber mills are gonna have to restaff. They've got a lot of folks to hire. After they hire those folks, they're gonna have to put a lot of time and effort into training those folks to where they run that mill efficiently. Once they train them, it's gonna take a little bit to get production up. Right now, they roughly have to double their production just to meet demand. But even after the lumber mill staff up and they get production up where it needs to be to meet demand, we're still in hurricane season. Now, the National Hurricane Center says hurricane season lasts from June 1st to November 30th, with the peak season being between August and October. So we could be in this for a while. Realistically, we could be to the first part of 2021 before we see the treated pine market and the pine market as a whole even get anywhere near normal. All right, so we've talked about there's a big problem, nationwide shortage in the pine market, and we've talked about that it could last until the end of this year, the first part of next year. But that doesn't mean you necessarily need to put your projects on hold. There are a couple of alternatives. Additionally, when we're talking about specifically the post, steel is also a great alternative to treated pine. Now, whether you're using a round steel post that you would typically see in a chain link fence or a purpose design post, such as the Postmaster Post by Master Halco. The point is there's always an alternative. And whether we're talking about pickets, two by fours, or we're talking about posts, the alternatives are typically more expensive in the short term, but they always pay off in the long run. All right, so to condense this issue as much as possible, first thing it's gonna affect everybody. Whether you're a homeowner or home builder, contractor or remodeler, you're absolutely gonna feel the shortage of the pine market. 
Unfortunately, it's nationwide. No one is exempt for this. It's a coast-to-coast -coast issue. It's gonna be here for a while. So whether the mills take time to re-employ their workforce, or we gotta wait out hurricane season, we're in this for the long haul. So whether you choose alternate methods or you choose to wait it out, it's gonna be a while. For the first ever, what in the fence is up with the pine market? I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert.